Hi, family. This is Pastor Carolyn, your pastor and purpose pusher of Tears to Breakthrough Ministries and T to be Global. And I just wanted to hop on and share our promise. This is promise number 285. And it says, even if your mother forget you, I will never forget you. How many of you know that God will never forget you? Say that with me. Say, God will never forget forget me. He promises to never forget you. And so our text today as we write the word, because we write the word, we meditate on the word, we journal the word. And so grab your journals, grab your Bibles, and let's begin to write out this word. Isaiah 49, 15. Isaiah 49, 15, the web translation. Can a woman forget her nursing child? that she should not have compassion on the son of her womb. That's a question. Yes, these may forget. Yet I will not forget you, God says. The Bible tells us in 1 John 4, 16, that God is love. He is the complete expression of every possible type of of love and see some of you are looking for love in all the wrong places and god is saying today everything you're seeking you can find in me that includes love a father's love hallelujah a friend's love the love of a bridegroom and any other love that you're seeking First John 4 says that all love comes from God. In today's promise, we see a feminine expression of the love of God. In this verse, God is posing a question. Can a mother forget the baby at her breast? Think about breastfeeding. Those of you who are moms and ever breastfed, think about that question. Is it possible for her to not have compassion on the child that she has birthed? God goes on to say, even if she forgets you, I will not forget you. The following verse in Isaiah 49, 16 continues as God tells us that he has engraved us on palms of his hands that is good news family so whoever is watching and feels like god doesn't love you feel unloved feel unseen know that god sees you and he loves you after all he created you he fearfully and wonderfully made you and so what a promise that we have, no matter what happens in life, because we see things happening all around us and they're not all good. Actually, they're pretty dark, but no matter what form of rejection we receive, even from our parents, know that God will not reject us. He will never forget us because he loves us with a father's love and he loves us with a mother's love too. May the love of God overwhelm us today with every love that we need. A father's love, a mother's love, the love of a friend, the love of a savior. May we learn to live in the love. Hallelujah. First John 4, 16, more and more for the rest of our lives. In Jesus name. Amen. Have a blessed and marvelous day. You be encouraged and not discouraged. And I'll see you the next time.